The most recent Nintendo Direct was awesome. We got more news on upcoming games such as Kirby and the Forgotten Land and Splatoon 3. Plus, new announcements. We're finally getting a new Mario Strikers game after 15 years. Wii Sports is going next gen with Nintendo Switch Sports. Earthbound and Earthbound Beginnings are both coming to the Switch. Xenoblade Chronicles 3 was announced, and many more. Games we already have are also getting updates, like Metroid Dread with a new Dread mode. Now, I'm sure a lot of you are already aware of this, but before Nintendo Direct takes place, fans always discuss what they want to see. It's always interesting to hear others' thoughts on what new stuff they want to be announced. And this particular time, fans were really excited and I'll tell you why. Ever since this most recent January, rumors about Mario Kart 9 were flooding the Nintendo community. And me and many other fans really wanted to see it. And you know what? We did see Mario Kart in a direct. But it wasn't Mario Kart 9. What was it instead? <laughs> What the? Didn't this game come out five years ago? Wait a minute, this is a port. Eight years ago? Yes, they're doing it. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, a game that came out five years ago, actually eight years ago, is finally getting DLC. Surprisingly enough, many fans are actually excited about it, and I can definitely see why. We are getting 48 more tracks to the game, all for just $25. While we may have only gotten retro tracks so far, they look really beautiful and very well remade. Plus, they are putting in Mario Kart Tour tracks, which means you won't have a limited amount of time to play these tracks, nor will you have to wait for a certain tour to play them, plus no stupid microtransactions. However, there is one major flaw. Eight courses will be released at a time over six waves. That's 48 additional courses we plan on releasing by the end of 2023. Oh great, it's Smash Ultimate DLC all over again. Plus, this gives me a really bad feeling. I fear now that we won't be getting Mario Kart 9 for a few years. So let me get this straight. Nintendo thought that because Mario Kart 8 Deluxe sold so well, that they basically don't have to make a new Mario Kart. Wow. Now don't get me wrong, I love Mario Kart 8 and I think it's a fantastic game, but we need to move forward. And no, Tour and Home Circuit don't count, those are just appetizers. Overall, I'm mixed with the new Mario Kart 8 Deluxe DLC. On one hand, we are getting 48 more tracks, giving us more variety, but on the other hand, we probably won't be getting a new Mario Kart until the next console. However, I do feel like they can improve this a little by adding new characters and vehicles, but in conclusion, they should have all just saved this for a new entry. Anyways, that's all for now. What do you think of the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster Course Pack DLC? Let me know in the comment section down below, like and subscribe for more great content, and keep calm and let life carry you on. Thank you.